Hello there, everyone. So glad to see you back for part five of our Creating Your Funnel with Canva series. My name is Lynette Chandler from Thrive Anywhere. And in this part, we are going to set up an opt-in form using Google Forms. Then we're going to link the form up to our landing page. Ready? Let's go. In general, I like to start in my Google Drive because I can see all the things that are in my drive. But you can start anywhere in your Google account. And if you don't know where to find it, you can just click on these dots here on any Google app page. You will see this. Click on it and you will see all these options here. But like I said, I generally like to start in my drive. This is not something I use a whole lot. To begin, I'll click New, Google Forms. I'll give the form a name. Keep in mind this name, people actually see it. So you might want to put a descriptive name and you do have a chance of putting a little description in here. You might want to put some persuasive copy instead of describing this form. So for example, I would put something like that. All you need is a name and email. Now you can collect as much as you want. Just keep in mind that the more information you ask from your customer or from a lead, the less likely they are to complete the process. Now, you can always ask for more information later as you develop your relationship with them. At this point, all you need is a name and an email address. And for this one, we're going to add a question and say, enter or what's your name? Just to keep it friendly. And this is a short answer. That's correct, that it's automatically chosen for me. And that's fine. And I'll put this as required. Now, you don't have to make it required. The only required thing really should be your email address. I could put an email address here, but I do believe with Google Forms, you can set it in the settings. So let's move forward. The next thing I'll do is responses. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on right now so that I won't forget. And then it says link to sheet. I will click create a new spreadsheet and give it the title, the same title. Or if you already have a spreadsheet created, you can do that. But I find this way easier to let Google Forms create a spreadsheet. And I'll click create. It's going to auto populate it in here for me. I'm going to click back over here to forms and go to settings. I don't want it to be a quiz. Over here. This is where I want to say collect email addresses. And send responders a copy of the response. You could if you want to, but I don't want to. I also do not want response editing after they submit. No, I do not want people to sign into their Google account because that would just put another hurdle in the process. And I do want to show a progress bar. That's kind of nice, but in this case, there's really no reason to do that. And this part here is very important. If you are familiar with other people's funnels, Normally, what will happen after you submit your name and email address is you will get redirected to the page that we've already created, the thank you and upsell page. The problem with using Google Forms is it doesn't have an automatic redirect option. So this is a huge downside of using Google Forms. The good thing, however, is even though you can't automatically redirect, you can put a confirmation message. And this is where you want to add the confirmation message. And you will say something like, 
great you're in. In this case, creating a double opt-in would probably be a good idea because whatever email service you're using, chances are when they click the confirm to opt-in link, you can redirect them automatically to the upsell page. So in this case, I will say, great you're in, please check your inbox for a confirmation message. And really double opt-in is always a good idea, although it will reduce your opt-in rate. But whoever you're getting, those people who agree to double opt-in, they've gone through a number of hoops. So they are a little better quality than people who don't double opt-in. For a confirmation in the next steps. All right. So this is what I want to save here. Now, show link to submit another response. I don't want them to do that. I also do not want to, do not want them to see the summary. All right. So my form is already set up, but as you can see here, it's this purple design, which I may not want. So click customize theme. And I'm going to select a color that's more in brand. I'm good with that. And if I want to, I can also choose a header image. I will find my logo off screen here and I'll pull it back in here shortly. All right, so I have all these. I have so many different ones right here. I've created a Google Forms header because it, it requires a specific size. Let's take a look at it. The size that's required is 770 by 144. So you want to take note of that. You can, of course, upload a different size, but it will just get cut off and it's just weird looking. But this size is the correct one. Drag and drop in here. And done. And then now it's up here. Okay, it's taken the colors from my logo. As you can see here, I don't want it to be so dreary looking. I'm going to click back to this green. All right, that definitely looks more like my brand here. You can change the text style if you want to. I'm just not going to do all that for this demo. Click preview and you will see this is what your leads will see. My next step is to click send. Collect email is checked. Send via link. And I do want to shorten the URL just to make sure that it doesn't get clipped off. And I'm just going to copy or we can click copy. And we are done here with the form. Next, we will want to head back to Canva. And on our landing page, which is the opt-in page, this is the very first page that people see. Remember that? Previously, we have already published this page. So if we want to edit now, we will have to click Edit Design. Over here, it says Watch Now. This is what I'm going to click on. Okay, and I'm going to unlock this right now. I'm going to make sure that these two are grouped together as one. And I'm going to click these three dots over there and click link and paste my Google form link over here. Enter. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Oops. Make sure that these are one. Paste. And for every button here, I'm going to do the same thing. Now, if you're a keyboard person like I am, see where it says Command K or Control K if you are on Windows, that will really speed up your process so you don't have to do so many clicks. When I click on this button, all I'm doing now is Command K and see how the link form shows up. 
I like to use my keyboard a lot because it really saves time from reaching out for the mouse all the time. And like right now, I'm actually using both hands so the process goes quicker. Okay, this is good. Now I'm going to go ahead and publish website again. Without navigation, resize mobile, yes. I've already added this before. Continue. And I'm going to click publish. You want to copy this to put in your emails or in your ads or however you are distributing this landing page. But if you want to view it, let's go ahead and view this. This is our landing page. People see this. They like what they see. They click on a button. And they land on our opt-in. Of course, I'm signed in here with Google. Let's see here. New incognito window. And if I go whoops, here to the Canva funnel, I click watch now. Once they click submit, they will see the message that we entered in the form. I'm not going to go through this process yet because we haven't completed the whole thing. We still need to tie Google Forms with our email service provider. That's what I'm going to do in the next video. And only after we finish all that, then are we going to test the entire process to see that everything works smoothly. But for now, everything is good. Well, what do you think? If you found this video helpful, please like it and be sure to subscribe to my channel to get notified when I publish new videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.